This video will cover the topic, Solving for a Variable in Terms of Other Variables in a Linear Equation with Fractions. Let's begin by looking at an example problem. Our problem asks us to solve for b in the equation a equals 7 eighths times the quantity negative b plus c. The goal of this problem is to get b all by itself. To begin, we must divide both sides of the equation by 7 eighths. However, anytime we divide by a fraction, instead, we multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction. How do we find the reciprocal of a fraction? The reciprocal of a fraction can be found by simply switching the numerator and the denominator. It is also important to note that the product of a fraction and its reciprocal will always be 1. Since we are dividing by 7 eighths, instead, we multiply by the reciprocal, which would be 8 sevenths. The result is 8 sevenths times a equals negative b plus c. Remember that our goal is to isolate the variable b. Our next step now is to subtract c from both sides of the equation. The result after subtracting c is 8 sevenths a minus c equals negative b. Now that we have b all by itself, we are done, right? Not quite. We still have a negative sign in front of b. Another way we could write this problem would be 8 sevenths a minus c equals negative 1 times b. In order to get rid of the negative 1, we must multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. According to the distributive property, we must multiply 8 sevenths a and negative c by negative 1. The final result is b equals negative 8 sevenths a plus c. Okay, that makes sense. In order to solve for the variable b, we must get b all by itself. To do this, we use mathematical properties to manipulate the variables and constants in our equation. Once we have b all by itself, we have our answer. That's exactly right. Great job. 